to you, Wobaboo. In this video, I will be making Sunday emotes. Let's go. For this emote set, I decided to draw six of them. I have drawn emotes before, but for those, I made them with the intent of turning them into desktop icons. It wasn't until later I decided to change them to emotes. That said, for these Sunday emotes, it was my first time drawing them like how most emotes usually are. Most emotes are often drawn with different expressions or actions, such as an angry face or them getting a head pat. With this in mind, when it came to figuring out what I want to do for Sunday, I looked on Google and Pinterest to brainstorm some ideas. After researching that, I decided on a normal smiling front view, a looking down on you, intimidating kind of expression, honestly I don't know how to describe that, a holding a halt one, a slightly annoyed mad one, a head pat one, and lastly, a sad pouty face one. I said the word one too many times, didn't I? Anyways, moving on, let's talk about the drawing. I worked on a square canvas or a 1 by 1 aspect ratio. Since emotes are tiny, I tried to take that into consideration when planning what to draw. I wanted it to be readable from a distance. By the way, this video isn't supposed to be a tutorial. I'm still learning myself about the whole do's and don'ts of emote making. Still though, I will talk about some stuff I've learned, so take what you will. Okay, back to what I was saying. For the emotes, I tried to make it clear and concise. It's important to not focus on the little details since you won't even see them when it becomes tiny. I say this, but do I listen to myself? No, of course not. I'm still going to zoom in 1000% when working on it. Chibi Sunday was fun to draw. After drawing him six times, I think I've memorized his hair. I found myself looking back at my reference of him less and less each time. When working on the sketch, you probably saw me use a Chibi 3D model as a guide. The website I got on is called Pose My Alt. Link will be in the description. Chibis are still new territory for me, so I have trouble getting the proportions right. That's where the Chibi model comes in handy. There may only be six tiny chibis, but this took me almost two weeks to do. I already draw slow in general, but six chibis in two weeks is just sad. I could have finished two full cold illustrations in that time. When coloring, I tried my hardest to be as simple with the shading as possible. Doing my more random shading would be too much for it. Simple is best for emotes, I think. I mean, I guess it depends on your style and stuff. While the emotes wrap up here, let's talk about Sunday or the 2.2 update in general. I won't talk spoilers, so don't worry. If you guys don't know, when it comes to the story of Honkai Star Rail, I really like it. But I also don't get it. I'm dumb, okay? I know. I read and pay attention to it, but it just doesn't click. I'm not like this with every game, but for this one, I just... my brain gets fried. Despite that, the Pentacony arc was so much fun to play. The cutscenes in 2.2 were just chef's kiss. It was great, especially the ending. I also think Sunday is a well-written character. Even though I couldn't explain to you his story arc. But like, that doesn't matter, moving on. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing him more in the story, and I hope that he becomes playable. I need him. His design, his voice, I just want him on my team. I'm always saving up for him. Come on, come on, horribles, please, please. Now back to the emotes. When making the emote files, I used the Twitch size requirements, which are 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112. An easy way to do this is after your drawing is done, save it as a transparent PNG. Then go on this website, I'll put the link in the description. It automatically resizes your files for you. Just drag and drop it or click browse files. After, I download it directly by clicking on it. And finally, after all that, the Sunday emotes are complete! I'm really happy with how they turned out. Aren't they just adorable? Out of all the emotes, my favorite are the looking down, intimidating, whatever that look is, and the head pat one. They both look so squishable. Actually, no scratch that. They all look so squishable. If you guys like them, you can get them on my Etsy shop. And only for those who watch this video and stay to the end will get a special promo code to use. Use a lazy Sunday 15 at checkout to get 15% off. And that's it for me. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I guess I'll go now. Bye bye.